Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Chicago. And tonight our question comes to us from Afterfove. And Afterfove suggests that it's time for a fun question, and I rather agree. And the fun question that Afterfove wants to ask is this. If one says Bloody Mary three times with the lights out, will it manifest as a vodka and tomato juice cocktail, or as an angry Scottish queen who's likely to whack you on the back of your head? And the answer to that is neither, but it does bring up an interesting story. Many years ago, my little niece came home from school, all excited about having learned the legend of Bloody Mary, which is this, that if you stare into a mirror at midnight and say Bloody Mary three times, or something to this effect, the specter of Bloody Mary will appear looking for her baby. And I guess to the adolescent imagination, this is quite a big deal. Now, somehow I had gotten through school and never heard this, but that might be because it's a legend passed among girls, not necessarily among boys. But I was flabbergasted as an adult to hear this because I recognized it. And Bloody Mary is just one person in history. It is a name that is attached not to Mary, Queen of Scots, but to Mary Tudor, the daughter of Henry VIII and the predecessor of Elizabeth I. And she is known as Bloody Mary because of her violent persecution of Protestants in England. And she died thinking that she was pregnant, although she actually died of stomach cancer. But supposedly, right up until the time of her death, she believed she was about to deliver a child. So the legend of Bloody Mary looking for her lost baby actually makes tremendous historical sense uh, in a rather sad and tragic way. But what was amazing to me was that adolescent girls in Chicago should be passing this legend around with no idea whatsoever who the woman they were talking about was or what period in time it belonged to because Bloody Mary, as far as my niece knew or anyone else I talked to, was just some woman somewhere who had uh, lost her baby and was looking for it. And so what this says to me is one more example of how long human memory is and how we remember things even when we've forgotten them. There's a wonderful book called Life in a Medieval Village, uh, whose authors, sadly, I do not remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure you can Google the book and find them. And in the preface to this book, the author talks about how on the hill overlooking the English village that he grew up in, uh, there was a legend that there had once been a monastery that had burned to the ground. However, there were no records of any monastery ever having stood there, and nothing in history supported this legend that was held by the villagers. Uh, well, around, the, I believe, the 1950s, there were archaeological digs up on top of the hill looking for something totally different, and what did they find? They found a monastery that had burned to the ground. However, everyone had always thought they were talking about a monastery that burned to the ground during the reign of Henry VIII. However, what they found was a monastery that had burned to the ground before the Norman conquest of England. And, again, it shows that human memory can often outlast even the knowledge of what it is that's being remembered. So when we look at ancient customs, they often are carrying very, very old things, much more so sometimes even than we think. So I hope you find that interesting. Uh, I would consider that a fun question. And until next time, may you blessed be. Hi, I'm Terry the Stone Lady. For all your crystal and stone needs, come to witchschoolstore.com.